The children who've come here have led pretty hopeless lives until now. I say children, but they're aged between six and 17. They've been beggars, they've sold plastic carrier bags on the streets, they've sold water on the streets, scratch cards just to support their families, but now they do at least have a chance. They come here, they don't call it a school, they call it a daycare centre, and they get all sorts of different classes. Um, here, quite clearly, this is the art class. It looks very good. And then they have music. They have literacy. For the older people, there's metalwork, there's woodwork. They teach them electrical skills. When they come here, many of them can't read or write. They have no idea what education is. They're destined for lives of uh, being criminals, perhaps, or just completely destitute. I don't know whether we can see in this class. It's rather dark in there. But these are children receiving lessons in Dari. As well as Dari, they receive education in English. And some of the children I've already met here have almost perfect English. They've been learning it for possibly only a year. This is an extraordinary place of hope for them. Not only do they get an education up to grade six, which is round about what you'd expect in Western terms a 12-year-old perhaps to have, but once they've left here, they're encouraged to go on to school and pick up their education there. This, we can see the sign on the door, is the child journalism department. They have computers, they're writing in English there. And perhaps the most extraordinary thing about this is they say there are around about 50 to 60,000 what they call street children in Afghanistan. These aren't necessarily people who don't have a home, but it means they work on the street. So 50 to 60,000 of them. And this project around the country is helping in the order of 10,000 of them, 7,000 of them here in Kabul. So 7,000 out of 60,000 people who previously would have had no hope now at least do have some chance.